Okay, welcome back to Illustrate Away, a community of artists dedicated to encouragement and growth. I am Miss Linnea Lark, and today is Tuesday, so it's Bits and Bobs. All right, so I just want to recap on the rules, and actually I'm going to add an extra one today, so pay close attention. Rule number one, shape before detail. Make sure that when you start out drawing that you're getting the overall shape before you go in onto the details. Number two, no erasing. And it's specifically the type of erasing that makes you start over that I'm trying to avoid. Small erasing is totally fine. In fact, you will see me use an eraser today. The third rule is that failure leads to growth. So don't forget, it's totally normal to have moments of frustration inside of your drawings, and you just have to press through that. Our new rule for tonight, rule number four, is to draw with your eyes and not with your brain. This is so important. If I draw with my mind, I like, for whatever reason, I revert back to fourth grade drawing. Like, I will straight up draw a sun with squiggly lines coming out of it so that you know that that sun is hot. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I just go back to fourth grade drawer. And so, if I'm wanting to draw something really well, if I'm wanting to practice and study, I need to have a reference. So I'm going to talk about what kind of references that you can get from the internet today. Uh, the first is a drawing or an illustration of another artist. Um, this is great to practice other people's style. Um, it'll allow you to see what you like and see what you're capable of. Um, it also feeds your creativity. Every type of style out there is great to view and to try. The other type of imagery that you can find on the internet is a photograph. Photographs allow you to use real life proportions and they allow you to really make realistic work. The other great thing about using a photograph as a reference is that it allows you to be creative without being influenced by another artist's style. Just remember that whether you use someone's illustration or their photograph, you have to give credit to who credit is due. That photographer and that illustrator are artists themselves. You cannot pass your work off if it's a copy as your own. You have to leave a little note in your notebook saying, you got it from such and such website. So make sure to do your due diligence and to give credit. All right, so that's it for today. Uh, this has been Bits and Bobs. I will see you tomorrow on Wednesday, and that will be Places and Spaces. I'm really looking forward to that one. Remember, if you want to see these videos daily and you want to be a part of our community, you can subscribe below and even hit the bell so that you get notifications. You can also join our Facebook group, Illustrate Away, where you can upload images of your work so that we can encourage you and be encouraged by you. Happy day!